hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Zanele and on today's vid I'll be reviewing the Yadli X Bonnie collaboration and I asked my sister to join me because she has been a long time fan of Bonnie Muli so I was like okay cool let's review this collection all together so if you'd like to see what the collection looks like and how it looks like on my skin how it applies and stuff like that please carry on watching and if you like videos like this do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel let's get straight into the bird <laughs> So guys, this is how the box came in, and then this, oh sorry sisters, <laughs> and then this, oh sorry, <laughs> so guys, this is the box, care box, it came in this pack, and then this um, is the whole range, so it came with foundations, and then they created this shade especially for this um, lunch, which is shade Melanin, I hope um we get to also try it out because we are also users of the yagi brand and we have different shades but it doesn't hurt to try new shades so and then um it has lip liners lippies bronzing powder pressed powder and then liquid lipsticks and then this even um complexion foundation and then some nail polishes so i'll list the prices of everything in the description box and also on the blog for more close up ups and swatches so i'll have this on the blog and i'll have it down below for the prices and stuff like that so we're just gonna jump straight and do our brows and then come back and do the foundation the brows have now been applied so we're just gonna go on and prime and then i'll go ahead and color correct my sister doesn't color correct much because she has her <laughs> melanin popping good so <laughs> you need to prime So now that our brows, our primers, our color corrections are done, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump straight into the foundations. So they released the foundations, which is this Yadli Even, which is this Yadli Even Complexion Foundation, and then the Stay Fast. So for the longest time, I've been using the Stay Fast, but caramel, and the caramel shade sometimes can get more neutral. So what I'm hoping in this melanin shade is that it is on the more warmer side. You like a warm foundation? <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. My sister's gonna try the even complex one. So I don't know, like, which one to use. Oh, okay. I think it's more fresh. Yeah. Yeah, this is applied so good, guys. Mm, I thought that this foundation would look lighter on you, right? Mm, but it's, it's not. It's not. It's blending in really nice on the skin. But I know how it works on the skin. It's just that the shade. I thought the shade would be would not work well for my sister, but it does because it carries that warmth tone. That warm tone that we've been talking about that was lacking in the caramel mm -hmm. shade. And it's more often for coverage. As you can see my beauty, beauty spot is disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> and then now we're gonna go in with the pressed powder shade melon as well and then just gonna because we've already applied the foundation and our concealers so we're just gonna dab lightly in our um, on the powder and just okay okay sorry my bad <laughs> <laughs> we're sharing a powder okay the okay we're gonna go in with the bronzer but before going in with the bronzer i think we're just gonna go lightly with the contour because the bronzer is on the more lighter i'll say on a more neutral than warm side and then come back with the bronzer so that we can just warm up the face with the bronzer okay and then we go straight with the bronzer yeah that's a good question. No, my business, Okay, guys, you bronze that you have any content, so don't be scared. If you find that your 
contour is too harsh and too thick just go ahead and apply bronzer the bronzer will then warm up the contour because sometimes your contour can be a bit you know can be a bit much so a bronzer is just there to warm up your makeup and everything and then the collection came off with three felt tip liners. I really thought that they were pencil liners, but no, they're not. They're felt tip. So just going to create a everyday look and then hit it with a bit of a liner situation. So <laughs> let's jump straight into I'm the eye look. I'm just adding a little pop of color in my bottom lash. Some color in situation. Is it too much or is it... I don't know. No, it's not. It's actually good. It's good. It's popping. Okay. I'm just gonna wing it with this shade. It's it's a dark green shade. However, this one is shade called um, Vintage, and yours is called Shop is. Oh, okay. And we're gonna go in with the matte liquid lippy. This shade is Capriam, and this shade is Tiara. Tiara. Okay. This is one of my favorite formulas when it comes to liquid matte lippies. Badly has a good here. So um, this is the final look. I'm really much happy with the way the look came out. Um, so I'm really happy that they added this um, melanin shade, even though it's limited edition. I hope it stays because it's a shade that it's needed, especially after caramel. Caramel can be a really, really neutral, especially if you're someone that only applies like foundation and powder. You really need a foundation that will actually warm up to your skin shade because I find that a lot of South African women are more on the warmer shade than on the neutral side. So I'm really happy with this melanin shade. Um, and then, what's your take? I'm also happy with this melanin shade because Cappuccino just to make my face more darker. Mm. So this one like it hormones to my face. So oh, I'm so really happy. Yeah. I find it so strange because usually mm. we apply different different shades. Yeah, but she's mm. also on the more neutral side mm. and I'm more on the warmer side and now it seems as if we can mm. finally use the same. Like guys, it's <laughs> like it's all I don't know why, but mm. this foundation actually did pop up. And then we're gonna go in into the press powder. For me, this press powder it darkened a bit of my foundation i don't mind but for me it will be a pass i'll continue using the caramel press powder it's kind of for me i think, this I think one, yeah it, it's it worked well for you well for, 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 for your shade mm. it did, did work well look mm. at how she's <laughs> and the bronzing powder also even though it did warm up i wish it just could have been a tad more warmer bronzing powder this bronzing powder for me because <laughs> 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 bronzing powder for me it works well because we're not on the same tone yeah, yeah so, so it, 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 more. it yeah it did it did come out more nicely mm. for you for mm. me it didn't do much difference because i'm kind of dark in your light so but it came out mm. more on your mm. side and then That's for it. me it didn't do much mm. so yeah and then the liners um this green i thought it would be on the more neonish greener side but it's on a more darkish green so I do like that it does say vintage because most of the time vintage green is on the dark side. So on the wing liner, it did work well. Um, I'm not sure if it's waterproof or what. I will just tell you down below if it is waterproof or not. Well, because this is my first time using it. But I will leave a mini review below on it and as in how long it lasts. For me, this one, I love it very much. Because I was afraid to use a letter, letter liners before. Mm. But this one, I think it's just, it yeah. does pop. It, it, does pop. pop. it does pop. Mm. Most, like most of the times, like they don't pop. Mm. Like little colors, like I don't think. Like. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, this brings us to the final stage of our mini review. Um, if you do like reviews like this, where I bring someone else, you know, my sister, you know, <laughs> so that we can just try and see how it works, because she has a more oilier skin and I have a more um dry skin, and products like these work on dry skin while products like this work on oily skin or vice versa so i like to play with that also in the future so if you'd like to see more of that you know leave it tell us down below and yeah congratulations once again bonnie um on this this is a limited edition so you can just go ahead and grab it at your local clicks this can take it out online you know those kind of stores drugstores you know anyway enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much Cindy, for joining me thank you for having me <laughs>
Thank you so much. We had fun. I had fun. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>